morning my name is sameeda i am from hubli department so today i am going to explain uh, topic superposition theorem on electrical circuits so first of all what is the importance of superposition theorem so if we want to find out the response in a complex circuit we have to use the superposition theorem also we will be using the superposition theorem in two board networks for designing the electronic circuits etc so what is actually superposition theorem so generally the theorems network theorems are usually using for finding out the responses and to reduce a complex circuit into simple circuit so first we will go through the Uh, definition of superposition theorem or statement of superposition theorem so superposition theorem states that in any linear bilateral network so first of all superposition theorem is applicable for linear bilateral network so superposition theorem states that in any linear bilateral network the response in any element is equal to algebraic sum of responses caused by individual sources acting alone while the other sources are remains unoperative or not operative so superposition theorem states that in any linear bilateral network the response in any element is equal to algebraic sum of responses caused by individual sources acting alone while the other sources are remains not operative so if one source is acting at a time depends upon the sources whether it is a voltage source or current source if it is a voltage source we will be short circuiting and if it is a current source we will be open circuit so how we can find out the response so let us consider a circuit having the voltage source v1 v2 and the resistances r1 r2 r3 so we have to find out the response in the element r3 so based on superposition theorem the response i will be equal to sum of two responses let us consider this i1 and i2 so as per superposition theorem this i will be equal to sum of two responses i1 and i2 and this i1 and i2 we will get by considering one source at a time so for finding i1 we are considering V1. Since it is a voltage source, the V2 V will be short circuiting. If it is a current source, we have to open circuit. So V1, R1, R2, R3. So this is R2, this is R. Now here we are finding the current I1. Then to find out I2 current. We are considering V2 is acting alone at that point. V1 will not be there. V1 we will be short circuiting. So to find out I2 current, let us short V1 and consider V2 is acting. So V2 is acting here. This is R3. So superposition theorem statement is nothing but in a linear bilateral network, the response in any element is equal to algebraic sum of responses caused by the individual sources acting alone, while the other sources are remains non-operative. That means, so first of all, what is meant by a linear element? Linear elements are nothing but the element which obeys Ohm's law. That means the V I characteristics of this linear elements are a straight line passing 
B or G. Linear elements are those elements which will be obeying Ohm's law. The VI characteristics of linear element is a straight line passing through the origin. Then what about bilateral elements? So bilateral elements are the elements whose the operating characteristics are independent of the direction of current. So generally we will have many classification of elements like the linear, non-linear elements, bilateral, unilateral elements, active, passive elements, then lumped and distributed elements. In that one classification is unilateral and bilateral elements. Bilateral elements are those elements whose operating characteristics are independent of the direction of current. So bilateral element examples, resistance, independent capacitor, etc. These are bilateral elements. So if we consider the resistance, whatever be the direction of current flow, the characteristics is independent of the direction of current flow. So in a linear bilateral network, the response in any element is equal to algebraic sum of responses caused by individual sources acting alone while the other sources are remains non-operative. If we consider V1, V2 will not be there. V2 will be non-operative and if we consider V2, V1 will be non-operative. Depends upon the source. If it is a voltage source, V will be shorting. If it is a current source, V will be opening. So this is superposition theorem. Then how we can solve a circuit to find the current of response by using superposition theorem. So let us consider a circuit having the resistances and voltage source. Two source here. If we apply 10 volt here, if we apply 15 volt here. And if the resistances are 15, 25, 50 ohm, 10 ohm, and 25 ohms. By using superposition theorem, we have to find out the current passing through 10 ohm resistance. This is our question. Find out the current through 10 ohm resistance. How to find out this current by using superposition theorem? So step one, step one, consider the source, consider 10 volt source and short 15 volt source. We are considering 10 volt at a time and 15 volt since it is a voltage source we are shorting with a wire. So here this is 10 volt source, then this is 50 ohm, this is 10 ohm, then this will be 25. Here we are shorting the source. This is 10, this is 25. So here if we want to find out the current I1, we are considering 10 volt source. Then how we will find out the current passing through 10 ohm resistor? So here we can use any method. We can use resistance reduction method. We can use branch current method or we can use nodal analysis etc. So first we will apply nodal method here. Then if we apply nodal method first we have to assume the nodes. Here in the circuit we will have two nodes. One is node 1 and another one is reference node or datum node. So here the node of the we are assuming as V1. So the equations, nodal equation will be applied nodal analysis or nodal equation V1 minus 10 divided by 50 plus V1 by 10 plus V1 by 25 equal to 0. 
So after applying model equation, we will be getting V1 minus 10 by 50 plus V1 by 10 plus V1 by 25 equal to 0. So sold for V1, sold for V1, then current passing through 10 ohm resistor will be equal to V1 by 10. So this is our first step. Then in second step, in step 2, consider 15 volt source and short 10 volt source. So we are shorting the 10 volt source and we are considering the 15, 15 volt. So this is 15, this is 25, this is 50 and this will be 10. And the same, we have to find out the current passing through 10 ohm resistor. So for finding the current passing through 10 ohm resistor, since we can apply, we will apply normal method here, consider non here, non is having voltage V2 and the other one is data node or reference node. Then apply nodal equation. Apply nodal equation here V2 minus 15 divided by 25 plus V2 by 10 plus V2 by 15 equal to 0. So, nodal equation either we can apply sum of rendering current equal to sum of leaving current or sigma i at any junction equal to 0. So, here I used at this junction sum of the current equal to C. So next we have to solve for V2. Solve for V2. Then I2 will be equal to V2 by 10. Then ask the superposition theorem. I will be equal to V1 by 10 plus V2 by 10. So this is superposition theorem. Then if we want to check our answer, if we want to find out whether we are getting the same equation or same answer by So here we have two sources. Since if the question is prove superposition theorem, now first circuit we have to prove this is 10 volt, 50, 10, 25, 15. If we want to prove the theorem, first circuit we want to solve. So for that, let us assume a voltage here V, V minus 10 by 50 plus V by 10 plus V minus 15 divided by 25 equal to 0. Sigma i at any junction equal to 0. So, V minus 10 by 50 plus V by 10 plus V minus 15 by 25 equal to 0. Then, current I equal to V by 10. So, if we are getting this value equal to this value, then our theorem is proved. So, this is superposition theorem. And superposition theorem we can apply for linear and bilateral method. And this we cannot apply for finding the power, power consumption in a circuit. Since power is equal to I square R non-linear relationship, we cannot apply superposition theorem for finding power. And the next one is Thevenin's theorem. So Thevenin's theorem is also a theorem which we can apply to reduce a particular circuit. So as per Thevenin's theorem, it is stating that 
a linear bilateral circuit or network having number of voltage source current source or resistances we can reduce into simple equivalent circuit consisting of voltage source in series with a resistance thank you